Hello, Michelle. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert here at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website on to me for analysis. And I have to say, I've been looking it over. It is a beautiful site for a couple of reasons. Uh, your, your photographic uh, evidence of your work is just beautiful. I've seen so many companies where they do good work, but they don't spend the money on a good photographer. And so it does not show. Look at that. It's like an art photo, practically. Um, and uh, there was some, I, you know, I love a horizontal fence. You guys have several uh, of, of that. I like the uh, grass in between the blocks. Just great stuff you guys have been doing. Now, um, I'm going to show you in this video how you can get more customers online. Now, I'm going to run through a couple of things that you can do right now today. And in addition to reviewing your website, I'm going to also look at one of your competitors so that we can see how they are beating you and then uh, how you can counteract that and uh, come out on top. So uh, here's the first thing I do after looking at your site. I go to this tool that I have called Ahrefs. And uh, it shows me the metrics of your site, how it's been performing over the last couple of months. And uh, as you can see, uh, the traffic is zero, meaning you have had no uh, visitors to your site over the last, say, two months, more or less. And these are uh, visitors from a Google search. You may have had some from somewhere else, but uh, from a Google search, no. Now, uh, the next thing I do is a Google search. And the reason I do that is because most people don't know how Google works. And if you don't know how something works, you can't take advantage of it. Um, and so uh, I'm going to explain how Google works by explaining this uh, results page, more or less. Now, the first thing at the top here is what we call the sponsored uh, uh, listings. Now, a sponsored in Google means that they paid for it. Now, it doesn't mean that they help out the Little League team or anything. It just means they pay to get up here. Now, underneath that, we have a series of uh, lists, generally. As you can see here, it's Home Advisor, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, so on. Now, underneath that, we have what we call the map pack. And that's because these folks here are uh, attached to this map. You can see where they are. People like to hire local. So, uh, Roofing Hands, Great Way, Ferguson, uh, those folks did something that the folks down here did not do, and that is really simple. They filled out a Google business profile. Now, a Google business profile is like any other online profile. It has a bunch of boxes for you to fill out. Uh, it's going to ask you uh, what year you started your business. It's going to ask you what your opening and closing hours are. And it's also going to uh, include some of your um, uh, Google uh, uh, reviews, if you have any, which is really great. They're only going to be positive reviews. The only other thing they're going to ask you to do is to prove that the website is your own. Now, underneath that, we have what we call the organic search area. Now, these are organic in the sense that you don't have to do anything other than have a website to get on the uh, Google uh, list of websites. But it is still determined by the Google algorithm. Now, the algorithm uh, is looking for uh, three specific things. The first one was this map pack. The second thing is content, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Now, uh, the roof doctors are the first contractor that I see underneath the map pack, so we're going to use them as your Google competitor. Here's their site. Uh, here's your site. I'm going to do something really quickly. I'm going to copy and paste all of the uh, words from your site into this Word counter, 958 words. Here we go with this one, same thing. And the reason that I'm doing that is because uh, Google loves content. It's king over there. And what they believe is that the more words you have on your page, the more likely that you will be able to teach their search customers something about whatever it was that they typed into that Google search uh, uh, box. So. Uh, you want to have as many words as you can on the, your home page. But here's the thing. Google expects a minimum of 1,500. Now, how they came up with that number, I have no idea. Uh, your competitor has not got there yet. Uh, you have a little ways to go, but all you have to do is beat your competitors. It's that simple. Um, you know, and they don't know about this yet. I don't know what year your uh, you know, website was built. I don't know if it says on the bottom. 
2023. Actually, we were just coming into it here. Uh, KHTS Marketing might not have known about what I'm telling you now, and that is how to rank higher on a Google search. Uh, and that's why what this analysis is about. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to show you is that words are all not the same at Google. Uh, and what we're talking about are keywords. Right now, with your website, you have two keywords on your website. And uh, keywords are words that Google expects you to have on your website by virtue of your industry. In other words, they're going to take sites from your site and from your competitor sites. They're going to take sites from the communities that you serve. And they're also going to take words from uh, um, the uh, Google searches that happen that bring up your and your competitor sites. Those are the words that Google thinks are the most important to keep their, their search customers um, um, in, well educated. So uh, now you have two keywords. Your competitors have 10,400. Seems like a lot to make up on. But I'm going to tell you that I bet a bunch of these are more about the communities they serve than they are about the actual roofing uh, stuff. Let's look at them. Um, it's, yeah, with this tool, I can just look right at them. Uh, free roof inspection, free roof repair, or excuse me, roof repair Los Angeles, types of roof vents, uh, how long does a shingle roof last, leak in ceiling, who to call, um, let's see, roof warranty. Uh, now, a lot of these look like they're uh, uh, repetitive. Uh, how long do roof shingles last? We just read something very similar to that, but this is different because the word order is different and the, uh, the tense of the word might be different. It does not know singular and plural, this uh, algorithm that they're using. It does not know our language. Keep in mind it is looking for things in, in Japanese and Polish and everything else. So, uh, you know, these uh, very specific industry things, how many layers of shingles can you put on a roof? Those are very specific to your industry. And even though, like, uh, it may say Los Angeles roofer and roofer Los Angeles, those are different as far as the algorithm is concerned. It does not know the difference between roof, roofing, and roofer. It does not know the difference. So it just looks for what it's told to look for. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you are backlinks. Backlinks, you have zero of them, which means that you are not on any other sites that refer back to you. In other words, if you have like a Yelp uh, 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 profile and you put your URL on there, well, then you would have a backlink. Now, it surprises me that you don't have a backlink, uh, but uh, it, it's possible. But it also could be that you got them relatively recently because these things are, are, are not you know, glacial, but uh, uh, they are pretty slow in terms of getting updated. So uh, they update every couple of months or so. So if you've had some uh, new backlinks uh, happen, that would be great for your site. I'm going to show you what your competitor has. Referring domains is what the most important thing is. Uh, they, you have zero and they have 271. Now I'm going to show you what their referring domains are. Yahoo, uh, Yellow Pages, Porch.com, Bob Via. Uh, this old house, super pages, those sort of things. You want your uh, domain rating for these backlink sites to be in the 90s. This is the domain rating. It's a rating of 0 to 100, and it shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile, meaning that on your site, for instance, your DR is 0, but uh, your competitor is 29, and uh, Yahoo is 92 because a lot of other sites refer back to Yahoo. Uh, so that is the sites that you want to be on. Now, uh, I, I already showed you that your visitors last month were zero. Here is what your competitors were, 10,400. This company does a lot of research into industries and uh, regions of the country, and they figure the value of all of these visitors was about $36,600. Now, that is money that is left on the table if you are not high on a Google search. And because they are the first uh, a listing in the, uh, in the organic searches, they get it all by and large. I'm going to show you something. Now, uh, uh, Veritas Building, I'm going to search down for that. And I want you to think about your own um, Google behaviors, essentially. 
Uh, when you are Googling something and you're trying to find something that is, you know, uh, in line with what you just Googled, how far down do you search before you decide to say, you know what, I think I have what I need from here on up because I know that if I go down much further, things are going to start to get weird. You know, it's not going to be completely uh, in line with what I actually searched. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'll just stop and I'll go from here on up. Now, I have not found you yet. Do you think many people would have go, uh, scrolled down this far? Um, it's, it's not likely. Most people actually don't scroll much past the related searches, which is right at the bottom of page one. Let me show you where that is. Was that? No, not people always ask. Related searches. Oh, well, this page doesn't happen, but it's right after this second set of sponsored ones. Uh, this is where the end of page one is in this particular search. So uh, now uh, knowing that, uh, I, I want to summarize, and that is A, uh, Google Business Profile, B, uh, Keywords, and uh, C, Backlinks. Uh, these are the things that you can implement right now. Now we can also help you to make these changes, and that is with the goal of getting as many new customers as you can. Now, I know that Eric will be following up with you to get some feedback from uh, the ideas that I discussed with you in this video. So, Michelle, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day.